I mean, we've seen Nigel Farage in the jungle. I don't know if you've been following I'm a Celebrity, not ruling out the possibility of one day leading the Conservative Party. If that happened, would you remain a Tory MP? A lot of big questions there, whether he's even going to make it out of the jungle. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm would, very, would you, very would you, content. Would you be in the I'm same party content. as Nigel it's... Farage, Tobias? I'm, uh, no, I, the, the, probably the answer to that is no. Look, ah. when Britain, when, can, to make it really clear what the Conservative Party is about, the One Nation Conservative Party wins elections. Look back at our history. I've said this numerous times. You know, when we uh, aim for the centre ground, centre right ground of British politics, we win elections. When we move to our extreme, then I'm afraid we put ourselves in opposition. And the same as with Labour, mm -hmm. when they went for Jeremy Corbyn. Where yeah. did they go? The sweet spot in British politics is when you aim for the centre right you ground. You say that, though, and Tobias. Fa Wasn't Thatcher Margaret... did that? Churchill did that. Forward did, did that. Disraeli did that. David Cameron did that as well. Did Boris After do years that? Years of us in opposition. Eventually, we got uh, re-elected. And the same, I'm afraid, that is where Richie Sunak is trying to take the party. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if we look united, if we look resolved, if we look competent, if we have that vision, then yes, we can stay I know, but 10. you say that Boris if we look united... Divided, the... then that's not going to happen. I mean, Boris didn't really unite the party, even though you might characterise him as libertarian. Would Thatcher <laughs> want to be described as a one-nation Tory? No, Boris's election was quite specific. You know, we were dealing with... Jeremy Corbyn. So that was an advantage to make it really clear what the Conservatives stood for. We did. We were not Jeremy Corbyn. And then there was this let's resolve Brexit. You remember the few mm. years of civil war there was not just in the country, but it's certainly in politics as well. And he said, I can solve that. And that's what took him across the line in 2019. The world's very, very different now. The whole issue of Brexit is it, it doesn't really register in that same way. We're all post-Brexiteers. Uh, in, from that perspective. <laughs> Tobias Elwood, if you're agree... a Brexiteer, I may well be a cat. This is exciting no. for me to hear that you have come over you, to the dark missed... side, finally, Tobias. You missed a key word there, which is post-Brexiteers. Most yes. people in Britain accept the result. What they don't accept is where we've landed with Brexit. 